Hey everyone, Britton here. I'm going to show you how to use the airbrush tool to create a gradient effect and also do shading and highlighting. Uh, very basic stuff here, but I'm going to start in advanced mode, multi-select because I know I'm going to be doing several little things at once, and I have selected my airbrush tool. I've already put these fills in, these base tones, and uh, that gives me a good starting point for shading and highlighting. So first I'm gonna select everything that I know that I want to add shadow to. And uh, go in and zoom in and get these little pieces here everything is selected. All right, I've got all my parts selected. I've got a darker tone that I'm gonna to use to shade. I am on full opacity and full brush size for airbrush. And I can see that the artist has uh, placed a small shadow under her chin. That gives me a little bit of insight as far as where the light could be coming from. So I'm gonna go ahead, whoops, and not use that color. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the light is coming from roughly over here in this area. So I'm just putting in shading. And you can see how beautifully the airbrush works for skin tones because it is so smooth. Okay, we'll go in, make our brush smaller here. Make sure we sort of get a sense of where her nose is. Why it's right between her eyes and lips. The kind of thing my dad would say. Okay, and I'm just softening that up a little bit by adding some color to her cheeks there. But I definitely want to know that her nose is there and that it will be catching some light in some places and be dark in others. All right, on to highlights. That looks like it might work. I'm gonna work with a fairly small brush size. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do the very brightest parts of her face, which is what we call the T-zone, of course. Make my brush size a little larger, grab her forehead and pull that in. Come down here again, smaller brush size. Whoops, too small. Get a little chin there. Okay. And the nice thing, the really nice thing about airbrush is that it's great for blending. Um, because it is so soft, it responds well to layered, whoops, layered blending. And by layered blending, I mean just adding your highlights and shadows and stuff in a series of increasing sort of darkness or lightness with a really nice smooth blended effect. That's what makes this so great for skin. It's a very natural look. All right. So I'm going in, I'm just softening things a little bit. All done with the airbrush. super versatile tool. That's why I love it so much. That's why I use it so much. Okay. Whoops. It would help if I had that selected, wouldn't it? All right. See how cool that is for skin? I mean, it's just so 
nice and soft. It has a paint effect, a paint quality to it. It's really nice. Okay. So now I'm going to imagine that I have a gradient sort of light effect. And I'm going to make this light pretty bright blue. Okay. Large airbrush size and I'm just going to, I guess that's more bluish green. I like it though. I'm going to keep it. This side is going to be this bluish green color. Gradually, it will darken over to a more teal tone. Okay, just like that. Very easy to create gradient effects with airbrush. And since we know that that light is hitting her, she is going to have a little bit of that on her skin and everything else over here. So she'll have a little of that blue light touching things. And the very last thing is to go in and do the super bright edge highlights. This is especially useful if you're going for colored light effects um, because it helps to guide the eye and let the eye know that, the, that there is a colored light source there. So we just go just like that. all done with the airbrush. Isn't that cool? Don't have to switch brushes ever unless you want to. Right, so might have a little catch of light there. All right. Not a flawless picture, but good enough to show you what I am trying to do. You can see how soft and smooth the airbrush tool is, how versatile it is. You can work tiny spaces, small lines, large spaces, almost like a fill. Fantastic tool, great for portraits, really great for anything, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, it's just such an incredible versatile tool, but uh, for sure for portraits. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys give it a try if you haven't already or try some new things with it. If you have questions or comments, feel free to ask us and uh, show us what you're working on. Put it up in the gallery, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook. Let us see. We love to see that stuff. All right, guys. Thanks so much.